Hey Roy, I just wanted to let you know that I'm just about done with work for the day. Got it. I guess that means you'll probably be heading home soon. You weren't working at all today, right? Wasn't it your day off? Are you home right now? Yeah, I really haven't left the house at all all day. Ah, uh, I see. Well, you can go ahead and start getting ready for bed if you want. I left you some dinner in the fridge so you can just heat that up, have your shower, and go to bed. Alright, was today supposed to be a uh, leftovers day again? I thought it was, yeah? Why do you ask? Are you not really in the mood for leftovers today? No, it's not that. It's just that, well, there are no leftovers left. Wait, what? Why? Did you already eat them for lunch or something like that? Well, no, it's not that. They ended up in the garbage. You mean you threw them away? Why would you do that? I spent so much time making them yesterday. No, wait, hold on. I wasn't the one who threw them away. It was my mom. She was the one who did it. You mean that your mom came over to the house today? Yeah, she came over because she said she wanted to do some cooking for me. But the freezer was full of all the meals that you'd frozen for me, right? So she threw all the food away and made her own food and then went back home. Ugh, I don't believe this. Why would she do something like that? And why didn't you do anything to stop her, Roy? That's such a huge waste of food. You know how my mom gets if you even tell her no about anything. I just knew that it was going to save trouble for everyone if I just let her throw away the food and do what she wanted. I disagree with you completely. Of course you shouldn't just let people throw out cooked food. I mean, you could have just taken your meal out to defrost. It didn't need to end up in the garbage. Well, I already told you that it already wasn't up to me. My mom had already made her mind up. But it's not like we don't have dinner. We have all the food that my mom cooked for us. And since she was here for so long cooking, I'm sure that it's really good. And you're sure that you're okay eating what your mom cooks for you? Why wouldn't I be? I don't see what you mean. I mean, you remember the doctor said that you need to be eating less salts and sugars, right? Knowing your mom, she cooks with a lot of oil, right? I really don't think you're supposed to be eating those kinds of foods, Roy. Well, it's not like I'm having those kind of things every day. I'm sure I'm allowed one cheat day a week, right? Then I'll go back to eating my boring, bland, low-sodium meals. But isn't your mom just going to keep coming over and cook for you once you finish what she made? I feel like she might take this as a sign that it's okay to do what she did again. Well, if she really does show up wanting to do that, you can just tell her no. Excuse me? Why should I be the one to tell your mom no? That seems like something you should do. Are you crazy? My mom did all that cooking for my sake. I can't just turn around like that and be ungrateful to her. But you're totally fine letting her throw away the food that I spent so much time cooking? Besides, if I were the one who spoke to her, then she would just use that as fuel to talk bad about me later. Well, you'll just have to think of the right way to get across what you want to say to her is all. Please, do not try to make this into something that I need to be responsible for. I really don't think it's fair the way you're pushing all of this on me, and I wish you would stop. So, we just shouldn't care about my mom's feelings at all? You just want me to throw this food back at her face? That's not what I said at all! But what I am saying is that this isn't the first time your mom has shown up, changed something about the house that she didn't like and associated with me, and then left. What do you think this is all about you? My mom is doing this for me. She knows how to take care of her son, and I think that you might just be getting a little bit jealous. I'm going to pretend like you didn't just send that last part. And you can think that all you want, but the point is that you're not a little boy anymore. We're married. I am your wife. And I'm telling you that your mom is interfering in our lives just a bit more than I'm really comfortable with. Look, I hear you, okay? I'm taking in what you're saying, but my mom is just trying to take care of us. That's it. There's really not much point in fighting this. 
You say you're listening, but I feel like I haven't been heard at all. When your mom comes over and messes around with our house and our lives, it really makes me upset. Aaron, really? What's the matter with you? I didn't take you for this kind of person. She's my mom, she's not some nosy neighbor or something. What do you get off complaining this much over a person who just wants to help? Are you really telling me that I'm in the wrong for asking you to tell your mom to not throw away our food? Why are you always taking her side over mine? It really makes me mad when I feel like I can't count on you when it comes to things like this. I've already told you that my mom is really headstrong and even if I tried to say something, she still wouldn't listen. You just need to learn to let things go and quit taking everything to heart. Hey Roy, I see that we've received a whole bunch of handmade masks from your mom. She sent us a bunch of masks? I wonder why, we already have plenty. I assume that she wants you to use these. She left a note saying that she hopes these are better on your skin than the store-bought ones. But there must be at least 50 masks here. Well, I'm not gonna wear something handmade when the machine-made masks are probably more reliable. You always do this, Roy! This isn't the first time this has happened! There was that year your mom sent you a whole bunch of scarves, and another where she sent you three handmade sweaters. You refused to even try them on and then just dump them out in the closet. Our closet is now almost half full of your unused gifts. Ugh, my mom can seriously be so annoying sometimes. I mean, what self-respecting adult is gonna wear a sweater their mom knit for them? If you really dislike them that much, why don't you just throw them away? And if you're not going to use these masks, I'd like to throw them away too. Oh, whoa, 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 you can't just throw away gifts that someone made by hand for me. Besides, we can probably just turn those masks into good kitchen rags. I really don't think the masks are thick enough to work that well as rags. Why not just return them to your mom and ask her to donate them or something? Are you kidding me? You think that my mom is going to be happy with me returning her masks like that? Why are you always trying to hurt her feelings? I'm not trying to hurt her feelings, but I don't see why we have to keep everything she gives you if you're not even going to use it. I mean, even with all the food she made you, I ended up having to eat most of it so it didn't go to waste. Well, excuse me, am I not allowed to get bored eating the same thing over and over again? Well, why is it okay that I have to instead? Ugh, you know that my mom really isn't that good of a cook. I had a couple of meals to be polite, but there was no way that I was ever going to be eating all of that. My stomach was hurting after just one. Then just tell her to stop doing so much for you. I mean, what do you want me to do with all of these masks? I don't know, maybe we could just sell them online or something? There's plenty of resale apps and things like that. So you do want to get rid of them? And just who is going to be handling selling these things? I'm really busy with work and taking care of the house, and I certainly don't have time to do this. Oh, fine, I'll figure something out. Jeez. Just leave them in a box somewhere and I'll handle it, okay? Somehow, I think that they'll end up in a box and I'll be seeing them in the closet very soon. Just like those sweaters and scarves. I said that I was gonna handle it and I will, okay? Why can't you just trust me on this? Because you always let your mom do whatever she wants around here. You do know that she's trying to set up a garden in our backyard, right? I had to really put my foot down and tell her no on that one. Wait, what? But we barely even have a backyard. A garden would take up too much space. Exactly, but she said she wanted to do it so that she could feed you even more. But why does she have to set up a garden in our yard? Why not just do it at her house? I don't know. Why don't you go ask her yourself? But then again, we would never have to worry about buying vegetables again. Maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. But who is going to end up having to look after that garden, huh? It'll probably be me, and I don't want that to happen. You know how much I hate dealing with bugs and working out in the hot sun. Maintaining a garden is one of the last things that I want to do. Oh, come on. I'm sure that you have a green thumb. You have to take care of it. I am telling you that I do not want to, Roy. 
Well, then I guess my mom will just have to come over every day to take care of that, won't she? Wait a second. Is this the game you're trying to play? You think that you can get me to do whatever I want if you just threaten me with your mom coming over? Well, that tells me all I need to know. You really don't like my mom coming over at all, do you? It's not that. I'm just saying that I think your mom is involving herself with our lives a little bit too much. Why are you always trying to twist my words around like this? Besides, you know that telling your mom not to build a garden in our yard is just going to upset her, and I think that you want all that blame to fall on me. Why are you acting so mean about this? Can't you at least talk to me nicer about my own mom? I've tried talking about this nice and calmly with you, and you just refuse to listen to what I have to say. I am sick and tired of being left holding the blame when you try to deny your mom anything. I don't really get what the big deal is. Why can't we just let her do whatever she wants? Are you serious right now? I just mean that if you really wanted to get on my mom's good side, this would be a great way to make that happen. I should just let your mom do whatever she wants so that I can get her to like me? Yeah, just leave her be and things will be fine. If she wants to start a garden, then who cares? What has gotten into you? I really can't believe that you're suggesting we just let all of this happen. All I'm saying is that I think you're being a little too tough on my mom. She's getting up there in age and needs hobbies to keep her mind sharp. This is a way that you can really help her in her old age. Okay, fine then. Have it your way. I'll just sit back and let your mom do whatever she wants around our house. Hey, where are you? Are you out running errands or something right now? I need you to get home right now. Mom is here and she's trying to move in. Oh, really? Well, if that's what your mom wants to do, I think you should just let her, right? You mean we should just let my mom move in with us? Why in the world would we ever want to do something like that? Well, your mom has been talking about wanting to move in with us for a while. You don't think we should tell her no, do you? You were the one who said we should just let her do whatever she wants, right? So why not let her move in if that's something she's saying she wants to do? How do you think the three of us are supposed to fit in a house this size? There's no way that we can make it work. Besides, I know that there's no way you'd be happy about living with my mom. I'm actually moving out, so I don't care what she does. Wait, you don't really mean that, do you? I do mean it. I think that you and I need to spend some time apart. I'm gonna go live with my sister for a little bit. So you and your mom will have all the time in the world to get to spend together. What's the matter with you? Why are you leaving? You can't just disappear like this! I told you over and over again that I was getting tired of your mom trying to interfere with our lives, right? And that's why you're leaving? Because you're upset over my mom? Do you have any idea just how much of my life I've lost to dealing with your mom's antics? All the while having to work and take care of the house? You have no idea just how tired I am. But I still don't get why you're leaving. You do realize that I'm gonna have to eat my mom's cooking every single day now, right? I don't know how I'm gonna live. Well, that doesn't sound like any of my business. But if you're really so upset, why not just tell your mom to move out? You have that right, you know. I can't believe you. You have some petty little problems with my mom, and this is how you choose to act. Fine then, do whatever you want. See if I care. You mean that you want me to do whatever I want to, too? Wow, that's very generous of you. Although, I'm sure you just meant that as a way of saying that you want me to leave you alone because you can't be asked to face the consequences of what you've done. You don't know what you've done, Aaron. You leave the house, sit by while my mom moves in, and you're totally given up on your wifely duties. I have done more than my fair share of wifely duties, thank you very much. Anyways, enjoy spending all that time with your mom, Roy! 
Aaron, please come back home. I'm begging you. I'm so, so sorry for everything. Just please come back to me. Oh no, Roy, what's the matter? You sound like something might be off. It's my mom. She just can't leave me well enough alone. And she won't stop treating me like I'm some little kid. Hmm, yeah, that adds up, I suppose. I told you that she had a habit of getting too much in other people's business. Don't just talk to me about this like you don't have anything to do with it. The other day my mom told me that I was coming home too late from work, so she went with me to go to work the next day and talk to my boss about it. I was completely humiliated. I felt like a little kid. It sounds to me like she's just worried that you're doing alright, Roy. I know that that's probably it, but she's going about it in the worst possible way. She stormed in the building as if she owned the place and started yelling at my boss. Oh, wow, well, that really just sounds no good. It's been so hard to go into work ever since then. People are whispering behind my back and calling me Norman Bates like from Psycho and it, it's horrible. And none of the women in my office want anything to do with me since they know what my mother is like. It sounds to me like your mom has made this a way larger issue for you than just staying at your place. Although I'm sure if you just stood up for yourself and said something, she would stop. I really don't think there's anything I could say to stop my mom from acting the way she is. I don't even know what would stop her at all at this point. Hmm, well, all I can say is I'm glad I got out there when I did. But I really need you to come back, this is serious! I just know that if you come back, Mom will probably just chill out about all this. She might even leave. I really don't think that your mom is the kind of person to give up so easily like that. And even if I did come back, I doubt that she'd leave. She'd just turn all her anger on me instead. Well, it's all your fault this is happening, so it really is the least that you could do. But none of this is my fault at all. You were the one who insisted on letting your mom do whatever she wanted to do, and I just went along with what you said. But it wasn't supposed to happen like this! Please, I don't even know how much more of this my body can take. I can't stand living with my mom anymore! You're probably feeling so sick because of all the oily food your mom is cooking for you. You might have been able to eat like that when you were a kid, but you're an adult who has to be a little bit more careful now. But I don't even want to eat her food. I'm going out to eat for most of my meals now. But then when I do, my mom just won't stop blowing up over the phone asking me where I am. Wow, she really is treating you like a child, isn't she? I mean, the way you described, she probably thinks you're still in middle school. I wonder if she'll still be treating you this way when you're even older, too. Please, Aaron, I just want to eat your cooking. I need a healthy meal. You know, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do over the past two weeks I've been at my sister's. And I just don't really know that I can carry on like this. That's right! You can come back and we'll kick Mom out and everything will return to normal. Oh, no, sorry, that's not what I meant. I was actually talking about getting a divorce from you. Wait, what? You want to get divorced? When did this come from all of a sudden? Do you even have any clue what it was that was upsetting me so much? You never listened to a word I said to you about any of this, and you never took my side. Why wouldn't I want to divorce you? Please don't do this to me! You're upset because I was always asking you to deal with my mom, right? I knew that you had no clue what this is about. Well then tell me what it is that made you so mad about it! What I'm about is the fact that you refuse to do anything for yourself. Whether it's your mom or I, you always need someone to take care of you. And now that you don't want to deal with your mom anymore, you're calling me in to do your dirty work. It isn't really like that at all. Please, you have to understand. I do understand. You're the one who doesn't, Roy. You told me to let your mom do whatever she wanted. I've just been doing what you told me to do. You ask for this and now you're reaping the consequences. Enjoy being babied by your mother.
After that, I heard that Roy continued to eat his mom's cooking, which only continued to worsen his health. Finally, I heard that he had to be prescribed a blood pressure medication and that he's put on several pounds of weight. Roy was desperate to find a way to get his mom to leave him alone and thought one way would be to find someone to marry him. Although any woman he got close enough to bring back home was instantly scared off by Roy's mom. Unfortunately, Roy still hasn't learned to stand up for himself. And I heard he's still letting his mom feed him every single day. Hi mom, it's been a while. How are you? Joe, it's been a while. What's going on? It's unusual for you to contact me. Well, I just wanted to give you an update. I have something to tell you. What's happening? I'm getting married. Oh, well, congratulations. Well, actually, we've already registered. I didn't know that. Congratulations. You're not mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? Because I didn't let you know right away. I'm just glad you let me know it. You were completely out of touch until a few years ago. I'm just glad that you reached out to me like this. I see. But I'm sorry I didn't tell you before we got married. I feel bad that the order is backwards. Don't worry about it anymore. It was awkward for you to contact me anyway. Yeah, well, I haven't been home in a long time. I haven't seen you as well. Well, you're a runaway son. I thought I would never see you again. I'm just glad we're still in touch. I thought it was going to be annoying if I came home, so... Dad said he's disowned me. Dad wasn't mad at you before he passed away. He was mad at you when you were misbehaving. He has always been worried about you all the time. I know I've been bad. I'm really sorry for all the trouble and worry. But you've been rehabilitated since then. You're working hard now. I don't feel anything bad for you anymore. But I still feel sorry for you. Anyway, that has already passed away. There is no one to nitpick with you, so why don't you come back here sometime? Yes, I'll come back sometime. If you feel like it, bring your wife too. What's she like? Her name is Emily. She's five years younger than me. Oh, she's younger than you. I remember when you were in high school, you were dating a younger girl. Do you like younger girls? Please stop that. Sorry, sorry. What's her personality like? What kind of girl are you? She's a little clumsy, but she's bright and friendly. She's very protective of me. That's good to hear. She must be a lovely young lady. Tell her I said hello. So, when is your wedding ceremony? No, we don't do wedding ceremony. Neither Emily nor I have any desire or dream of having a wedding ceremony. Besides, she doesn't like to get attention. And to be honest, we don't have that much money. But it seems like a lot of people don't have wedding ceremonies nowadays. I think that's fine too. She wants to spend money on the luxurious honeymoon if we were ever going to spend money on the wedding ceremony. Oh, that's lovely. That's exciting. I'm sure there will be fun and hard times in the future. Life is a long way to go, so I hope the two of you can pull yourselves together. Okay, thank you. Lunch break is almost over. Talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Good luck at work. Joe, you've already done with your work, right? If you want, can you tell me about your current address? Why? Are you coming to my house? No, I'm not coming. I wanted to send you a wedding gift. What? It's just a little something. Don't worry about it. I know you live on a pension, Mom. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Can I celebrate you as Mom? No, no. You don't need to do that. Don't worry. I have enough money to buy you a present. You don't have to worry about me. There's also the insurance money from your father's will. Insurance money? You can use it for something more important. What are you talking about? It's important enough that it's a celebration of my son getting married. Is it? Besides, I was working until last year. We have a little money saved up, so don't worry. Take what you can get. Okay, but I don't want anything expensive, okay? Just something small. Don't worry. Oh, wait a minute. Emily wants to talk to you. Oh, is she? She wants to say hi. Nice to meet you, mother-in-law. My name is Emily. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe's mother. Congratulations on your marriage. I'm sorry I didn't greet you when we got married. Don't worry. I guess he didn't want to come, right? Don't worry. I guess he didn't want to come, right? 
I'm sorry we're such a messy family. Not at all. Joe told me about you. He said you are kind and considerate. Really? Did he ever complain about his parents? No, of course not. He said he really wanted to go home, but he couldn't find the right time. Oh, I wonder if he will be angry if I talk about this. He said that? Good. It sounds like he doesn't like his parents. I don't think he hates it at all. Thanks for letting me know, Emily. Oh yeah, I heard that you're not having a wedding ceremony. Are you sure about that? I don't really like fancy things. We'll spend that money on our honeymoon, so it's fine. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for marrying my son. It's my pleasure. I'm so happy to marry such a wonderful man. Let's keep in touch, mother-in-law. Now that we're in-laws, I want us to get along. I'd like to get along to you as well. I hope you'll be able to get along from now on. I'd really like to meet you in person. But you live so far away. It's almost two hours by plane. That's right. Also, my house is in the mountains, a long way from the airport. I think it's a hassle to come, so don't feel pressured to come. If you want, I'll be in your area on a trip next time. Let's meet up then. I'll see you then. I hope to see you sooner or later. Hey mom, what the hell are you thinking? What's going on all of a sudden, at this night? Don't play dumb with me, I heard you've been picking on my wife. What? I despise you, I'm gonna stop sending you money and I'm gonna cut you off. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't get any money or anything and I'm not picking on your wife either. What are you talking about? Huh? Don't lie to me. I'm not lying, what the hell do you mean by picking on your wife? Did she say something to you? No, she didn't talk to me directly. When Emily was talking to her parents on the phone, that's what she said. I accidentally heard the conversation. She was crying. But she didn't tell you, did she? Don't you think you misheard it? I was eavesdropping, but I sure heard it. She said she gets horrible things from you every day on WhatsApp. What the hell is that? I didn't have enough communication with her to pick on your wife. But you have exchanged contact, right? We exchanged numbers after the first time we said hi, but we only exchanged emoji the first time, and I don't remember you sending me any money. Huh? What are you talking about? She sends you $1,000 every month. She contacted you, right? I told you, we don't keep in touch. I've never heard of sending money until today. But six months ago, Emily told me that it must be hard for you to live alone, so we decided to send you money. That's what she said. I've been giving you a lot of trouble too, so we decided to send money. It's a kind offer, but I don't know anything about it. I haven't received a penny. No way. I don't like crookedness, and you know that, don't you? Why would I be so mean to your wife? Something like jealous or... Why? Because she took my son? Have I ever been jealous of your previous girlfriends? No, you got along. In fact, you got along better than me. I just think all kids at your age are so cute. Why should I pick on them? You're right. You've always been like that. I think all younger girls find them cute. And I love idols too. But Emily sure said that. I don't understand why I'm picking on your wife. I was just happy that my runaway son finally got himself together. If I was mean to her, she would run away. I'm sorry, I just lost my temper. If I think about it carefully, I could understand it. You're not the kind of person who would. I'm glad you understand. That's how much you care about your wife. If I were you, I would be surprised if my wife called my parents while crying. Yeah, sure she didn't send you any money? If she did, I would at least call you to thank you. I don't just leave it there. But every month she tells me that she sent you money. I wonder what's going on. I have no idea, just because I didn't really get it. You should really look into where that money is going. Right. Emily, I want to ask you something. About the money you sent to my mom. Where did you put that money every month? What? You scared me. What is it all of a sudden? I mean, where did you send the money to? I checked with my mom and she didn't get any money. Oh, you checked? I checked the bank account and credit card history. There were no transfers to my mom's account. And your credit card history is pretty shady. What is about shady history? You made a lot of purchases at men's clothing stores. 
and there was a lot of money spent at the same store. I checked it out. The place is a male review club. Oh no! That's probably just friendly credit card charges. I see. Then how do you explain the money sent home? Also, you called your parents and told them mother-in-law was picking on you. Oh, you heard me? What are you trying to do? Make my mom the bad person? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm telling you, I'm already pissed off. Are you kidding me? You don't have to be so one-sided. I know it's my fault. If you're sorry, you should have stopped halfway through. You lied to me for six months. What's this about sending money? What the hell did you spend it on? Don't blame me. Emily, I'm Joe's mother. What? Why? I was worried about my son, so I came over here. I'm sorry my son got so excited. He's just upset, that's all. He was shocked that you lied to him. Mother-in-law! I won't get angry. Can you tell me what's going on? Depending on the details, I tried to convince my son not to be angry. Really? But you have to be honest about what happened. If he finds out later that it's a lie, he'll get even angrier. I understand. I used the money I sent home to pay for Mail Review Club. Okay, so why did you tell your parents that I was picking on you? To make them feel sorry for me. I told them that my mother-in-law was making me financial supply. Why would you say that? Because my parents feel sorry for me and send me money. You got money from your parents too? So you're saying that all the money went to the Mail Review Club? Yes! I was wondering if there were any circumstances beyond your control. It was just a waste of money. It wasn't a waste of money! Ken is everything to my life! Ken is the name of the host you were paying for? That's right! My son says he was saving to send money to me. He said he gave up drinking, smoking, playing video games, all his hobbies. And you were using the money for such a thing? What do you mean such a thing? Don't deny my hobbies! My son might divorce you. Eh? That's what he says. He can't trust you anymore. Isn't it too sudden? I can't believe he suddenly divorced me. Sorry, but I agree with my son. If I understand it and forgive you about lie, but the attitude of not showing any remorse at all is a bit unbelievable. You don't think you did anything wrong, do you? Because Joe is suddenly blaming me. You make fun of me for going to a male review club. I think you should do whatever you want, as long as you're spending an amount that doesn't affect your living. But playing with money you swindled from other people is wrong. It's only a thousand dollars a month! Don't get mad at me for such a small amount of money! You should say things like that when you can earn your own money. You don't have the financial ability yourself, do you? What are you talking about having a husband to support you? But... I've been taking care of the house! My son has every right to be angry and disappointed. After the divorce, I'll ask you to return the money you swindled from my son. He have got a hell of a wife. Sending you a congratulatory gift was the biggest waste of money I ever spent. Soon after that, the son and his wife divorced. Emily's parents apologized flatly and repaid the money they had cheated her son out of. It was speedy from the apology to the repayment. Maybe this is not the first time she has been involved in a scandal. I told my son to choose his marriage partner carefully in the future. However, although she was a terrible wife, it was not bad at all. I think this incident has helped me to reconnect with my son a little bit. After times happened, we often talk each other. He also started coming back to home, and surprised that he is taking me on a trip this New Year's. I have been lonely since my husband passed away. I think I will be able to spend a happy old age.